the belief dimension and what I call, or Dr. Tamara Jindler from Yale University calls, a leafs. We have beliefs and a leafs. And a leaf, A L I E F, is your imagination's beliefs. This creative world and Joe Public could not exist if it wasn't for a leafs. Your beliefs are when you walk into a movie, I know without a shadow of a doubt that no one really dies. It's all made up. It's fake. And if you took that dimension into the movie alone, you couldn't enjoy it. You would see it coming, your emotions, your nerves would process that it's fake. But because we have this elite, which are driven by the mirror neurons, the billions of neurons in the brain that fire when you see someone doing something that you can identify with. Your identity relates. If I put my hand up like this, the part of your brain, the mirror neurons, started to fire. If we were to put fMRI scans on all your brains, when I did like this, your brain would light up in the region that controls the motor region that controls hand movement. So when you walk into a movie, this complex duality starts to play itself out between your beliefs and your beliefs. Your beliefs go, I believe that anything is possible. Your beliefs go, only a finite ability is possible. The Newtonian sort of roots of who we are, that one plus one is two, that if I drop an apple and it falls, this reality is Newtonian. I want to explore our quantum reality, which is the fact that there are influences around you right now that you're not necessarily woke to. Like if you've got a person inside of your office who's highly stressed out, just them walking into the space creates what we call cortisol contagion. The stress chemicals are spread between you and you start feeling sick, which is your immune system is starting to become vulnerable because this person, anybody got stressed out people you work with? Okay. <laughs> now when you go back to work, you can be like, okay, we explored this sort of quantum reality and your cortisol is contagious and I'm gonna just move away from you. <laughs> you just explain it that way and then they don't take it personally. So, the question becomes, what do we do? We've got this world that we can explore through our beliefs, or the ability to transport ourselves into a woke reality, and a reality that's not limited to our beliefs. If we were stuck in our belief, we couldn't create extraordinary campaigns, we couldn't enjoy a theater, we couldn't enjoy a movie. But being woke, fundamentally means that you unleash the creative power of the unconscious mind. That in that dimension, where chemicals start to flow, that do not care about the reality that you're confronted with. 